Right, welcome to the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths, day 14. Um, uh, keeping the math skills bubbling over for year one and year two while we can't be in school. Um, please be sat with an adult. Please have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. And please um, call out. Love, you, uh, love your mistakes. The only way you're going to learn, this isn't going to work for you if you don't call out and don't speak while you're watching. So please do speak as, as we're watching. Join in with accounting and that kind of thing. Um, don't be embarrassed if you get it wrong because um, we we'll all make mistakes all the time and the only way you're going to learn is is by um, spotting your own mistakes so please join in okay guys here we go so uh, counting backwards in ones from 50 off we go so 50 49 48 47 46 45 44 43 i'm just going to turn this off here we go we're at 43 here we go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Where are we now? Where are we now? Three tens, thirty-nine. That's right. Okay, counting backwards again. Thirty-nine, thirty-eight, thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty-five, thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one. Right. What's one less than thirty-one? One less. Yeah, thirty. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Make sure you're joining in. 20. Right, what's one less than 20? Fantastic. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one zero okay here we go counting backwards in ones are you ready on here on the number square counting backwards in ones starting at 50 i'm going to be over here now what's one less than 50 yeah 49 48 47 46 are you joining in 45 44 43 what's next i've just stopped what's next one less than 43 turn to partner yeah awesome 42 41 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. What's next? One less than 30. That's it. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. And we'll stop there, I think. We'll stop there. Right, let's go on to our next thing. Okay, now, okay, now we haven't done this for a few sessions. Uh, we're going to have a look at our clock now. I'll just turn the hour, hour hand off, the short hand, I've taken that off. We're just going to have the long hand. And it's, it's been a while since we had a glance at this, but it's good to keep going back to things, um, to pull them from your memory. Um, what did we say the, the this long hand, this minute hand, that it counts in? When it gets to here, it's it's moved on by five. So it counts in, these are five minute intervals. So five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, or 0. <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Now I'm going to put the hour hand on now just so you see it moving. You'll notice as the minute hand goes all the way around, when we get back to 12 again, this hour hand will have moved from the 2 onto the 3. So it's currently 2 o'clock, but by the time it gets all the way around back to the top, um, we'll now be we'll be at 3 o'clock then. So here we go. So we're going to count in 5s. Join in with counting in 5s. Are you ready? Off we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55 60 or zero and again look look there it is we're at three o'clock when this hour hand this sorry the minute hand goes all the way around the hour hand moves very slowly from one hour to the next hour so we've gone from two o'clock to three o'clock let's try that again so we're at three now so uh, where will this hour hand be once this minute hand has gone all the way around where, where's this hour hand going to be yeah, it's going to point at the four, isn't it? So let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, 
45, 50, 55, 60 or zero. Look, there it is, it's pointing at the four. So what time is it now? Four o'clock, fantastic. Okay. Uh, okay, we've got, we want, what time is it now? The long hand, minute hand is on the 12, which means it's o'clock and we're pointing to the eight, so it's eight o'clock. Okay, now, here we go. So, I'm gonna move the um, minute hand half the way around the clock. Whoa. It's gone half the way around. It was eight o'clock, let's just go backwards again. Backwards. This is eight o'clock, so it goes half the way around. Half the way past when it was eight o'clock. So we call this, half past eight, half past, half the way around, past eight. It's half, the hour hand is moving between the eight and the nine, it's halfway in between. And then I'm just gonna move it on another half an hour to nine o'clock, so here's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, the minute hand is pointing to the 12 o'clock, the uh, hour hand is pointing to the nine, which means it's nine o'clock. So if we go half the way around, half the way around the whole hour, half the way around, it's half past nine. Okay, let's make another time. Doop, doop, doop. I just quickly move that on. Oh, this might be a tricky one actually. Let me see if I can. Whoa. Oh, no, it's not too bad this one. Okay, right. So we're on, what time is it now? This is one o'clock. The hour, the minute hand is on the o'clock on the 12. So zero minutes. The hour hand is on the one. So we're at one o'clock. If the minute hand goes half the way around, half the way around the clock, it's half the way around the hour, it's half past when it was one o'clock. So it's in halfway between one and two, half past, so we're on half past one. And in half an hour, it will be two o'clock. Okay, let's move on to something else. Right, now yesterday we looked at uh, ways of making six. And today we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to be looking at eight. So it's year two, you'll be saying, oh, gosh, I know, Mr. Barrett, I know all the ways of making eight. Well, you'll be surprised how useful it is, and you've got to know it so well that you do, it doesn't matter when you get it. You can't, you cannot get it wrong. So you, you want to practice this so many times that it's really hard to get it wrong. Okay, so there are eight counters here altogether, but some of them are under the hand. I can see three, there's three here. How many is under the hand? Yeah, there's five, so five and three. So could you make a note on your piece of paper that five and three make eight? Five add three equals eight. Or you could just write five add three. Make a note on your piece of paper for me. Five add three. Okay, here comes another one. So we can see six here. How many is under the hand? Change your partner. How many is under the hand? Yeah, two. So six and two, or two and six, doesn't matter. Six and two, or two add six, makes uh, the same the same, uh, same value. So make a note of that one. Two add six equals eight. Okay, let's try another one. Add that one. Right, I can see one counter. How many's under the hand? Yeah, easy. Seven. So seven and one, or one and seven. Have we done them all? I think we've done them all, haven't we? Oh no, I think that. Uh, there's, oh, there is one more. There is, there is one more. Can I think of one more? Perhaps you've thought of it. Keep pressing this button until I get what I want. Ah, there we go. There's four here. How many's under the hand? It's your double. Oh, this is half of eight. So this is going to be. Yeah, four. So can you write four and four down? Four add four. Right, now you've got all the ways of making eight, I think, on your piece of paper. Now, we're gonna use our number line. Now, we're going to be uh, calculating, let's have a look. We're gonna do, um, we're going to do six add eight. Now, probably I would put the biggest number first in my head normally, but today I'm not going to. I'm I, just because I'm practicing a certain skill. We're going to do six add eight. Now, let's have a look. Let's put six here and eight over here. 
Okay, now it feels long-winded what we're going to do here, but actually, um, once you've got the uh, got the skill um, working smoothly, um, what did I say already? It's incredibly useful. I use it now as an adult. Okay, so I've got six here, and I'm going to add eight. So I'm going to put my six on the number line first. Here they go. Here's my number line. Here goes six. There we go. It goes all the way up to six. Fill six spaces. Okay. And what I need to do, I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to show me the jump. Ooh, that's six. I now need to jump or a bridge all the way to ten. I need to j to bridge to ten, to jump to ten. What do you add to six to make ten? Mm, and six, let's do some tricks. Yeah, four, that's right. So what I'm going to do then, jump up, I'm going to split this eight into four and something else. If I use four of them, I'll put the four on now. How many is left? Yeah, only four. So there we go. So I've used four of them. I've used that. There's the four gone. And now I'm at 10. Now I'm going to use the other four. Place those on my number line. And it's quite easy to add, uh, to do 10 add four. Just slides into this placeholder. And the answer is. 14, that's right. I'll just put this jump on here just so you can see. Four and four. So six add eight equals 14. Okay, let's try another one. Here we go. Let's do nine add eight. Okay, here we go. So we're going to have nine and we're going to have eight. So let's have a look. I'm going to put nine here. I'm going to put eight over here. Now, to be honest, I would probably double eight and add one, or I would double nine, uh, excuse me, <coughs> I would double nine and take away one, but we're learning a skill uh, using one particular technique at first, so here we go. I'm going to put my nine on the number line, which might be good if this other one was in red, I apologise, I'm going to make this eight in red, there we go, might be make it more sense, okay. I've got a nine, there's my nine. Okay, so I've used nine, and now I need to bridge. I need to jump to the next. Oh, sorry, that would be better. Uh, jump to the next friendly number. We're almost there. Whoops. How far is it from nine to ten? One and nine feeling fine. It's one, isn't it? So we're going to use one of the eight. Let's use one of the eight, shall we? We're going to use one of the eight. Let's cross off that one. I've used one of them. How many's left? Look on your little list. What do we add to one? One to make eight. Yeah, it's seven. So then we use our, our seven to finish it, uh, finish off our addition. So this is a jump of seven. There we go. Whoop. It's quite messy, this one. Sorry, guys. Where are we now? Well, it's not too difficult to do in your head, is it? Ten add seven is 17. Fantastic job, guys. OK, right. Now, year ones, that's, you know, really quite tricky. Um, well done for joining in or following. Year twos, that, that should be a skill that you're beginning to use. I'm going to show you something now that's useful for all of us. We've done this before, but this is what year ones. I'd like you to have a go at this um, after this video or, or to stop this video in a minute and have a go at this. The, I oh, sorry. the idea is uh, the king wants you to destroy his castle. We're at 80. His castle, there's his castle on the, li on the number line, is at 90. You've got to work out. How f oh, sorry, we're not 80, we're at 89. You've got to work out how far it is from 89 to 90. And you pull back on this string and you fire it to hit the castle. And then you press next. So here we go. Now we're at 21. Here's us. We're at 21 and the castle's at 30. What do you add to 1 to make 10? I'm going to bridge to the 10. How far is it to the 10? It's 9. 1 and 9 feeling fine. Okay, here comes our next one. Oh, let's do another one. Lots of ones. We're at 33 and the castle is at 40. So we're going to jump to the next 10. We're going to bridge to the next 10. Three and mm, made in heaven. Three and seven. And another one. Oh, same one again. Now we're at two and the castle's at 10. What do you add to two to get to the next 10? What do you add to two to bridge to 10? Two and mm, feeling great. Two and yeah, two and eight. There we go. Now, if you feel like really pushing yourself, you can 
these these are very helpful these red jumps but you can hide them with this tick box if I press it now you'll see that it's harder now 44 to get to 50 what do you add to 4 uh, to get to the next 10 4 mm, let's do some tricks 4 and 6 can you see now that I'm dragging on it I can't see that jump 4.6 there we go okay so year ones I'm going to put the link to this game um, in the description box below that's thank you for coming guys that's the end of the video for you um uh, if you want your prize this is what your prize is your prize is whatever pudding you are given you have a special powder that you can take out of a pouch and you sprinkle it on the pudding and it's called the pudding doubler it doubles your pudding there you go so if you if you have a uh, cake and you really like it sprinkle it on you get double okay right Year twos. So goodbye, year ones. Uh, year twos, stick with us now. We're going to just carry on a little bit more. Year twos. I, we're going to. You've done this before, but I'm going to introduce um, uh, our vertical addition, our column addition, but with some tricky columns. Now, I'm just going to touch it very quickly, just as a reminder how it works, and then we'll finish. So here we go. I've got a math story that says 38 add 47. Okay, I'm going to arrange that as a vertical. Okay, a con very convenient way to add things together using place value. I've got 38 add 47. Now before, I could just add those two numbers together and they would fit. But they don't this time because 8 add 7, do you know what that one is? Is 15. 8 add 7 is 15. It makes too much to go in that, it's not, there's too much to go in that ones column. So what it does is the 10 gets Give, uh, you move the 10 under here to go in the um, tens column because that's part of the tens column and we keep the 5 of the 15 in the units column so now we've got 3 add 4 which is 7 and we need to add on this final 10 that we got from the ones column and it's 8 okay let's do another one so 38 add 47 equals 85 let's try another one so 39 add 12. Now, 39 add 12, and here's the big equals. 9 add 2 makes 11. Okay, and you'll see, if I drag this down here, there's 11, there's 10 and 1. That 10 comes here to make a 10. We keep the 1 in the in the 1's column, and this 1 here means... That, uh, it, that's the point of what this is this 1 means 10 it doesn't mean 1 it means 10 this 3 means 30 30 add 10 is 40 and then 40 add 10 is 50 so the answer to 39 add 12 is 51 guys that was a bit of a difficult one today wasn't it awesome job uh, so you get your um, sprinkly uh, dust for making your cakes double whatever pudding you get is you get your, your pudding doubler uh, super job uh, please come back next time